Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2001 Chevrolet Corvette, and today I'll show you how to replace the front corner marker lenses. Some tutorials say you have to remove the front wheels to replace these lenses, but that's not necessary. I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way, so let's get started. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Electric screwdriver, socket wrench, long socket extension, short socket extension, 10 millimeter socket, 932nd socket, dielectric grease, floor jack, jack stands, a creeper, and a light. For this job I also needed two blocks of wood, two rubber mats, and a set of replacement corner lenses. We also replaced the halogen bulbs with LEDs at the same time. I don't have a low profile jack, so I had to drive the front tires onto blocks of wood with rubber mats underneath to keep them from sliding. The front of the car can be jacked up and supported at these points. One of the screws we have to remove is right above this air duct, so we'll have to push it out of the way. I couldn't see it with the camera, but the screw is right up here. Under the front bumper, in front of each tire, there's a panel we need to remove held in with five screws. Now we can access the back of the lens. This is the other screw you'll need to remove. Twist to remove the two light bulbs from the housing, then pull the spring to unhook it from the back of the lens. With everything disconnected, you can pull the lens out through the bottom of the bumper. Before installing the new lens, we have to transfer a piece from the old lens onto it. We just need to remove these two screws. Don't forget to remove anything sealing the holes for the light bulbs. If you're replacing the bulbs, now's the time to do it. LEDs don't work if you install them backwards, so make sure to test them out before installing the new lens. Make sure the spring is still hooked onto the bumper and connect the other end to the lens as you put it in place, then install the screws. Don't forget to slip the air duct back into place. Twist 
twist the bulb sockets back into the lens and reattach the cover under the bumper. The owner of this car asked me to remove the edges of the air dam while I was down here because they scrape on his driveway. We'll be replacing the factory air dam with a nice aftermarket one in an upcoming video, but for now I'll put the screws back where they were so we don't lose any of the clips. I decided to use an electric screwdriver to save some time, but I still needed a socket wrench to reach the screw directly in front of the tire. And here's the finished product. I have more videos showing how to replace and upgrade the other lights on your Corvette, so check those out too. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it.